Hi, Dr. Heigmeyer here, and in this video series, we're answering your questions about hypothyroidism, and today's question comes from a woman uh, named Allison down in Texas, and her question is, my doctor says my lab test results are normal and my medication is working, yet I still struggle every day with thyroid symptoms. In fact, many times I feel like I'm getting worse. Why is this happening to me? Well, there are a couple of things that are going on here. First off, it's important to clarify what your doctor means when he says uh, all your lab tests are normal. Okay, so first off, when it comes to thyroid testing, there are 11 major markers uh, that can be run um, and should be run, but yet most doctors don't run these tests. Most times doctors simply run a TSH and a free T4. Sometimes a free T3, but for the most part it's a TSH and a free T4. So if your doctor's telling you that all your lab test results are normal, I'd be curious as to whether or not a complete thyroid panel was run, or if it was just the free T4 and a TSH. So only TSH and T4 was run, then it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to really make that statement that everything is normal. It's kind of like baking a cake, yet you're missing some of the major ingredients, okay? Now, if your doctor did run a complete thyroid panel consisting of TSH, T3, T4, free T3, free T4, reverse T3, T3 uptake and thyroid antibodies, uh, TPO, thyroid peroxidase enzyme, and antithyroglobulin antibodies, if all these were run and all these were normal, then I would say that there are some other pieces in your health puzzle that really are missing that need further investigation. Um, the next issue that comes to mind is that while thyroid medications can boost how you feel, they don't always address why your thyroid became underactive in the first place. So if we unpack that just a little bit, what we find is that in over 90% of cases of uh, men and women who actually get diagnosed with hypothyroidism, there's an underlying autoimmune disorder that's really just destroying the gland. And that is what's so important to rule out. In Hashimoto's disease, it's, again, it, this is a disease process where the immune system, it's attacking, it's destroying the thyroid gland. And as it attacks and destroys the thyroid gland, the gland itself no longer functions. And obviously, then you become hypothyroid. So despite taking medication, which simply just replaces those lost hormones, it doesn't do anything to stop the autoimmune attack. And this is why so many times uh, you feel uh, hypothyroid and it, sometimes you feel hyperthyroid, okay? Um, what's necessary to do in a situation like this is number one is identify the cause, or I should say the cause is, of why the immune system is attacking the thyroid. That's number one. Number two, restore balance to the immune system through diet and very highly specific nutritional compounds that are customized to you. And then number three, if you need thyroid replacement, make sure that you're taking the right one if necessary. Um, there's a whole uh, video that I did. It's about 15 minutes long. It goes through many, many different kinds of medications. Uh, if you have to take thyroid medication, which one you, should you take? That kind of goes into uh, those, those kinds of questions and answers on that video. Well, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and I hope you'll continue to stay with us through this video series where I'll be answering the most commonly asked questions about hypothyroidism. If you have questions, you can always email us by reaching, uh, reaching out to us on our website, drhagmeyer.com. And until next time, take care.